To draw a Diwali lamp pattern, we're going to start by drawing a sort of a curve like this. And I think I've gone slightly wrong. So I'm going to tilt my paper around like that. And then I'm going to start up here. And so what we're wanting is a nice, even kind of teardrop shape. And that will come around and join up there. Yeah, that'll be OK. So this shape is like looking down on the top of a Diwali lamp and this is where the wick would come and this is where the flame would be. So let's draw the flame now. We draw a nice... So we have like a C shape and now we're going to do an S. So we're going to come back in and out with a long tall S. So it's a tall C and a tall S. And then here we want to do a curve and a curve for the inside of the flame. And now we're going to draw which is called an inline, so it's just inside the line. And I'm going to go around the corner and I'm turning the paper because it's much easier to draw <laughs> curves by turning the paper. And here I'm going to go around like that. Because it's it's like a compass, and you've got this is where the, this is where the pin goes into the paper, and you swing around your wrist like that. And then we want another one, which is going to come about there, and that's going to come following around. This is a bit more tricky. This, and that's going to want to come around like that, <laughs> and this is going to want to come down. And we want to keep the distance nicely equal. The distance around here equal and I'm going to do another line around like that and then we keep coming around like that <laughs> and around and around I, I think normally I would maybe this is normally the direction I would go so I think it doesn't really matter if you're left-handed or right-handed in that case does it I suppose so now we're going to do some pattern and I'm going to do a little small one like that and then a big one and a small one and a big one, small one and a big one. I'll just zoom through these because I'm going to make a mistake like that. It's meant to be a small one. Here we go. While I'm zooming through these, you can click the like button and the subscribe button so you can come back and do more of my drawings. Now here I'm going to do these double lines but only on the bigger ones okay like that so this is all about pattern and this is a bit kind of like a paisley print as well i suppose and it's all just building up repeating patterns which <laughs> can drive you mad <laughs> now we're going to do little flicks one two three one two three one two three and again, I'll zoom through all of these. And then I'm going to do something very, very simple. I'm going to put dots in here in, in all these kind of where there's a, a little arrow going in, as it were. Then I'm just going to put dots. And that is just the simplest kind of pattern you can use. But it really fills in that space very neatly and simply. Now we need to find kind of where the center of this sort of semicircle at the bottom is about there and we're going to draw you guessed it another line around it <laughs> and another one in the middle and let's put some little dots in there just to add a bit of extra something and then we're going to go all around it like they are kind of petals just tiny little petals kind of like that and let's put dots inside all of those too. Why not? And now comes the tricky bit. So we're going to draw big petals coming all the way around like this. OK. And they want to be pretty much the same size like that. And then we're going to go around and do it again like that. Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> that's not easy to do. But it gives you this great kind of spirograph pattern like that. And then round here we can put circles. Let's put let's space them out evenly like that. Okay. 
And here we're going to do a circle. And we're going to make this like a marigold flower. So these will have long petals like that. And we'll have one there and one there. And we'll do the same. So these will be like marigolds with long petals and sort of mid smaller middle bits like that. And then I think we can add extra circles in those spaces like that. And then all you need to do to finish it off is to go ping, 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 ping. If you flick inwards, you get a nice sharp kind of point at the end of the line, which makes it, it just sets it alight. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Come back again and draw stuff real easy. Happy Diwali!